Okay, Kony shocks. Uh, these are adjustable shocks, and uh, they're dated uh, from 1971. So they're fairly old. Uh, they're on a 1969 Cooper S. Um, they're not in bad shape. They had a little bit of rust on them. I cleaned them up, gave them a quick coat of paint. Uh, I gave them another sand down and another coat of paint. But first I wanted to adjust them. So I thought I'd go over that with you to show you how they're adjustable. Okay, I knew these were adjustable because on the top of the shock here, it says uh, remove bumper rubber before adjustment. So that tells you there's adjustment right there. So um, they're not in bad shape. There was a little bit of rust around here. Cleaned them up, gave them a coat of paint. I'm gonna sand them down, give them another quick coat of paint. Um, but before I did that, I thought I'd give them an adjustment. Just to see, uh, get them where I know that where they are and I can adjust them either firmer or softer. Um, these ones are marked heavy turn. It says here on the bottom, heavy turn. And if you need to know, the part number was 80-1794. Okay. So remove bumper rubber. That's this thing right here. And it sits up in here, inside obviously. So you go around, see there's a split in it right here. Um, you go around the shock, tap, shock uh, uh, rod and go up to the top here. And that's where it'll sit. Now to get that out, there's two holes up here. And if you're uh, careful, you can get a long punch and, uh, and punch that rubber seal out. So here we go, pushing that rubber bumper out. Uh, just put the, a punch or something, not sharp anyway, uh, down there, maybe a piece of rod and on the other side and just keep going back and forth, back and forth and mine came out fairly easy hopefully you have the same luck all right so the adjustment has to be made when this is fully collapsed both you're going to push both halves of the shock all the way in and i'm going to count how many turns of adjustment we have by marking this and turning while holding this end so just we can watch that hole, you can watch this yellow mark, but we'll see how many turns we can get out of it of adjustment. One full turn, two full turns, and it went a, a half. So that means divide our two and a half turns in half, that's an inch or one and a quarter turns. So now from our yellow mark, we will turn it back. So we'll be halfway between uh, soft and hard on the adjustment scale. So there's one. And now we're going to go a quarter. So here's my quarter. Now adjustment is set. I can pull this two halves apart. And that exposes the piston. And I can put my rubber collar back on. Like that. All right. All right. So now uh, you want to push that rubber. I've got it just sitting inside there. But you want to push it around. I'll rotate this. Use a long screwdriver and eventually you get it all seated down there. It's looking good. All right. All right, the rubber's fully in. You should be able to see it through these holes. And what I do is I fully collapse it again and just make sure that rubber is seated as far up into this end as you can. And now it's adjusted halfway. So uh, obviously if you want to change your adjustment, you're going to have to go through back, back through that process and make it a little softer, a little firmer, uh, whatever you want for your ride. Okay, so that's uh, how to adjust these adjustable Kony shocks. 
Uh, again, they're from 1971. Uh, old school, but definitely cool. Thanks for tuning in. Like, share, comments. Thank you.